In this video, I want to show you how to add a button group. So you want to click on the button group. Now, one of the great things about a button group is that you can add multiple buttons um, so that they're next to each other. So there's the first one here. Let's go and call this one button one. And when you scroll down, you notice that you have different styles you can click on here. So you can feel free to go ahead and play with that and choose the one that you want. But I'll just leave the default and you can choose the button spacing. This is the, the letter spacing between uh, the button and the text. And you can also link the button. So you can also create a link uh, that someone can download. So it's the same thing as the button itself. So let's click on download. And you can attach something here so that people can be able to download it. So I'm going to grab this book. So when people click on it, they can actually, you know, just download. Change that there. So this is a great way too if you want to um create like a like a funnel where um people can come in and just download something, then you can do this here as well. All right. So the the button style, I leave this one at the default. For the parents, you have flat. I leave this one at flat, and you have standard. Uh, round so you click on the drop down here you can choose the one that you want based on the type of look that you're going for and you can also add an icon with the button so I'm just gonna add in a download uh, icon here so this just is download and you can choose the position for the icon left or right I lift that at the left so I'm gonna click another one. I'm just gonna clone this and you can put in sign up and you can choose the lettering, the button style for this one. You just choose the bolder weight. And I don't want this to have a download with it, so I'm going to delete that. You can choose the spacing, so I'm going to choose four pixels. And scroll down, you can choose standard. Let's make this one large. And let's make this one outline. Uh, and then you can go ahead and choose the width. You want it to be full width, we'll leave it at no. And then the button shape, let's make this one round. And we want to change uh, this one where it says for the icon. It's going to choose user. Just choose something there. And how do you want the link to open? Do you want to open the same window or a new window? So let's scroll up here. And we're going to just, I'm just going to duplicate this. I'll just clone it again. So we'll have three button. And then call this one click here. And then we'll scroll down. It's pretty much the same thing. You, it gives you a lot of flexibility for you to choose how you want the buttons to look. So scroll down. Uh, make this one a success. Now you can change the settings if you want to, but I'm going to leave it for the sake. I'm going to come back here, and I'm going to change. Let me see here. Change this one, the button style, to warning. And the first one third one here we can change this so what I'm just doing now is I'm just going through and just uh, different set and this here where it says the gutter this the space in between the button so if you have multiple buttons this is space that you put if you want it to be left center or right so let's take a look at the front end and see what this looks like so save so from the preview now you have three buttons that you can use and based on the type of site that you're creating you know, this first button might work for you or the second one or the third one. So uh, pretty much what type of button that you want. And also, if you want to put a button so it's in the middle and the center of the page, even if you have just one, you want to use the button group uh, instead of the button. Let me show you the difference. Uh, let's add a button. Because one thing that I, you know, when I started to mess with it, realized that sometimes you want, you want just one button, but you want it to be at the center of the page. If you use just the button here, let me just keep the standard. And you look it on the front end, you're going to realize that this one is just on the left side as where these are in the middle. So if you wanted just one button that's at the middle of the page, uh, I'm going to come back to this first one and I'm going to delete these two and I'm going to click apply. So when I apply and I refresh it, now you notice that this one button is still in the middle of the page. So if you're looking for, to have just one button that's at the center of the page, then this is the one that you go with. And it's very simple, very clean. Uh, you can style the buttons how you want it. So let's go back over here. If you wanted to, um, you can choose the text color, the link color, the hover color. You can add a border. So uh, let's let me show what the border looks like. I'm going to put this one at, a, let's say, six radius. And then you can choose the border width. 
I'm gonna put just something random here. Ten, the border color, uh, the style, solid, the radius, and you click up oh, you want animation. All right, let's click apply. So you can see what this looks like with that. So that's the border that you have on there. And there, like I said, there's so much you can do with this. You can, you know, disable the border or you can keep it. Uh, but pretty much the choice is yours. So just get and mess with it. And, you know, based on the type of site that you're creating, sometimes this might work for it. Uh, but other times it might not. So let's go back here and let's say we wanted to make this one uh, a full width. So scroll down here. Let's say where it says full width, we want that to be yes. And let's save it. So now you have the border that's surrounding this button, but it's nicely in the middle right there. So sometimes there's a certain look that you're going for. And if you don't want this particular color, let's say you wanted to change that one uh, from from the primary uh, and you wanted to have something different. Let's say let's go with uh let's go with uh, uh danger. And I want this one to be an outline so you can see the difference of how it looks. So now when you put your mouse over, it has a different color. So it gives you a lot of options, a lot of flexibility, um, pretty much how you want it to be or look on your site.